Hey guys, it's Lisa and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to make a little garden vignette and we're going to start with this little cart. A friend of mine uh, bought this at a yard sale and uh, she actually bought it for a child and uh, decided she didn't want it and I assume maybe it's because uh, it's very heavy. I really don't think that it's made for a child. I think that it um, that it's just too heavy. I think it's made for a little garden cart, or at least that's what I'm going to make out of it. And I started by removing that little felt on the inside there. And this pink and white is cute, but uh, that's not the look that I'm going for here. So um, I'm starting with the uh, with a coat of uh, the co of black. I'm using the color caviar here because that's just the Dixie Belle black. But um, but I'm giving it. Uh, actually, I give it two coats because I want this to uh, be a good coat to distress down to. And if I don't give it a good coat, I'm afraid that I'll distress down to that pink, and I, I really don't want that. So I don't worry with painting the inside shelves because this is going to be white in the end and they're already painted so I'm just going to leave them. So once I let this dry well then I took it outside and I sprayed a coat of clear matte finish on it and I did that because um, when I go to distress this I'm just going to distress it with a damp cloth and I don't want to uh, mix that black. When I reactivate that chalk paint, I don't want to mix the two together and make it gray. So uh, that's why I did a coat of clear uh, first before I painted this uh, white. And I painted it a couple of coats and, um, and a little touch up on a third. And now I'm kind of adding some detail. So this is the IOD Kindest Regard stamp, and I use this so much. Uh, it's so wonderful to have uh, when you have some large surfaces, and I want with this particular piece to be able to layer somewhat, so I like to have that script in the background. And so I just kind of place this script stamped on, on different places on this uh, little cart, and then I'll be adding some transfers, actually. And this will be the first time that I've used the Dixie Bell transfers. And this particular one is called Buds and Branches. Uh, and I, I really like this one. I think that it ended up being a very good value because uh, it had, like, I think five pages. And uh, I used a little less than one page on this one. So, um... I was really happy with how far this transfer went. Here I am just cutting pieces of that out, and I found one that I wanted to kind of wrap around this corner somewhat. So uh, I'm just transferring it to this back and letting it just wrap just slightly around that corner. And I really like that layered look with this um, with this script. And I don't want to overdo the flowers on this but this is going to be kind of a little garden flower cart so i think it's okay on this one to to add uh, some little flowers different places so i'm just kind of randomly putting these on here and i put one there in the front now i kind of i just kind of add uh little transfers to different areas of this cart i just kind of turn it in all directions so that uh, I have something on each side and I wanted to add some to the top corner but I didn't want to get too much going on on top because uh, I'm sure that there'll be Id items displayed on this little cart so I just wanted just a little so that you could see that there was something on there when you had uh, your items displayed. That's one thing I like about these transfers is you can just cut them apart and just add them here and there. And uh, if you can find a good place to cut them apart, they work really well uh, to do in areas like this. And I forgot to mention here that I spray painted those 
uh, those wheels also. I started painting it with the wheels on, and then my husband said, you know, I can take those wheels off, and uh, it would have saved me a lot of time if I had done that in the beginning, but it, it still helped me in the end. And here I am just adding that uh, kindness regard stamp to that bottom um, shelf because I felt like it needed a little something. And then I can do just a little floral thing here in the, on, the, uh, on the other side. I had never done an item like this before. And I don't know that I've ever seen a cart quite like this one. Uh, but I thought it was a good opportunity to use some of these transfers. And there it is finished. I should have showed it finished before I had it staged and let you see it a little more closely, but uh, I think I'm able to show it from all angles here. But there you can see that it has some transfers. Even when you have something displayed on the top, they'll show well. As you can see here, I've already distressed this and uh, sprayed it with a coat of clear coat because you do have to seal that chalk paint once you get it done. And this is the second item that I was gonna do and I've had this, or my husband's had this outside at the shop for a couple of years, I guess, and I just never have done anything with it. I don't even know where he got it, but I decided that um, I wanted to, uh, to to paint this one to go at my home actually because I have a little area in my flower bed or in my yard that I had kind of ripped everything out and started over and it's for the most part bare right now so I wanted to do this one to add um, to that area because I'm going to do a few birdhouses actually at different levels uh, but as you can see here I'm just kind of painting this haphazardly uh, I'm not worrying about full coverage here. I, the one thing I am being careful to do is keep my strokes in the same direction because I do want that. But I just put one coat here and it's not even full coverage coat because I like that worn and weathered look. And um, if I were to paint this solid, it just would not go at my house because um, I paint just about everything distressed. So once I give this one coat, and then uh, I decide that I want to paint uh, the the roof in black. And the reason that I'm doing that is because I'm going to be doing some stamping on this and, this, and the ink will be in black. So I just wanted to kind of tie it together. So again, I just give this one coat of the black. And, um, and then once I let that dry, I take this outside and spray a clear coat over it so that uh, it seals that paint in. And then, uh, and then I take my orbital sander here and just go over it and, and do some pretty heavy distressing in the corners and all the raised areas. And now I'm just adding some stamps. And I chose this little cafe stamp here, and this is one of the um, stencil sets from redesign called icy paris and i thought this little cafe would be good to put on the feeder side i just thought that would be appropriate and then the others i just kind of put where i felt like they fit and uh, i do have to go back over this with another coat of clear coat over these stamps and although this is a stays on ink and it, it is really good to stay on uh, if you, if you, when you're doing your clear coat, if you spray too heavy of a coat to begin with, then it'll start to drip pink, and it's not pretty. So uh, I, I suggest that you, um, that you just lightly mist it before you give it full coverage. So I just lightly mist my stamps and then let that dry just, just maybe for a couple of minutes and then give it a complete coat and then they won't try to bleed. And I decided I wanted some of this script on the roof also, but because I have a black roof, I had to use some white ink here. So uh, there is my birdhouse painted and um, and 
now I'm adding um, some, this is not even floral foam, this is just a foam, uh, but I'm just going to stage this with some flowers, and I did go back and even change the color of these flowers because I love this lavender with this color, but the vignette that I was going to do um, to match the flowers in my cart, I needed to change the color of the flowers here, so I did go back and change those out. And now these are those little insulators, the little tiny ones that go on uh, telephone wires. So I just take a screw that's uh, long enough to go into the wood without going through the wood because I wouldn't want anything sticking the bird. Uh, but I just found some that would would be just the right size for this and I just screwed those on there and uh, I didn't have to do anything but screw it on because it doesn't have to hold a lot of weight uh, but it was pretty sturdy anyway and there is my little bird house finished and I really like how that turned out and I may even decide to go over this with some um, brown glaze uh, because I'm, I may even want to make this look even older. I haven't decided at this point, um, but I may decide to do that at some point. And now I thrifted these little flower pots and this is, this is a little larger uh, one, uh, but I thrifted these uh, at a very low price. They had several of them that were new and there were some in this color, and there were some in white, some in black, and then I think some in a terracotta color. So I just took some of uh, the three colors, this color, which is very close to the sea mist that I used, and I, and I forgot to mention that's the color that I put on that birdhouse. But um, these three colors, the sea mist, white, and black worked really well with this vignette so I'm just kind of all I'm doing to these is adding a stamp and uh, and then I just take them outside and and clear coat them and they're ready to sell and there's how they turned out and then for the next flower pots uh, I'm just using these little peat pots and someone asked me because these were in another video that I did and I didn't do them on the video. I just put them in with one of my vignettes and someone asked me to do these. Uh, honestly, they're just so, so, so simple. You just paint them and I just kind of do a haphazard coat here because I like that weathered look. And I'm using the color white and then I'm using the color sea mist. And I'm doing that... Um, without even washing my brush uh, because I like a little bit of that white mixed in with this sea mist. And it, as a matter of fact, not only do I not clean my brush, but occasionally I add a little white to it so that it has, um, it just, I feel like it has a better look on these pots. And then I'm gonna be stamping on these with black also. So lightening up this color will just help that black stand out even more and once i let these dry then i just uh, add some stamps and i i chose here to use uh the crockery stamp and that's an iod stamp that is wonderful for little items like this actually it's a set and there's several little designs on here and uh, I just really love using these. This is another stamp that I use a lot. Uh, and it's really hard. It was even harder on the glass pots. Uh, but when you're stamping on something round like this, you have to be really careful to uh, hold that center in place and stamp it down. And I got a, a I smeared it a on a couple of them on the glass, but not enough to really matter. Uh, but I got some good sharp images on some of them. And I don't mind if there's a little imperfection in the stamps. I think that just kind of adds to the look. But if you get too much, then uh, it isn't attractive. So uh, just be really careful to hold that center in place and don't let it slide. Now, uh, I went back over these with a clear wax. You could 
spray them with a the sealer. You could use an, um, a glaze on them if you wanted. Uh, but again, just like any other time you use chalk paint, it needs to be sealed. So to seal it with something. Now, as long as you let this dry for even five minutes, you can put that wax straight on and it won't it won't bother the uh, stays on ink. But like I said before, if you spray seal these, you just have to kind of mist them first, let that dry, and then seal them with a full coat. And I just love how this little vignette turned out. If I'd had more time, I would have added more to it, but this is this is what I got finished today, and uh, I just really like how these colors worked together. And this little card, I don't think it'll have any problem selling because it's so unusual and just such a cute little look. I want to thank you guys. I don't do it often enough for um, all your support and all your sweet comments. Um, and uh, thank you for helping me to reach 12,000 subscribers. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope to see you in the next. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great evening and God bless you and your family.